Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about the most popular Brazilian in the area of the UK that I'm from. So usually when I say to people, I'm from England, I'm from the UK, they often say this, ah, oh, London, are you from London? No! I'm from a very small town in the northeast. So this town is called North Allerton. Um, when I lived there, I think there were about 80,000 people living there. And the nearest city to North Allerton is a place called Middlesbrough. So in 1995, I think I was about 12 years old. I was 12 years old. And in 1995, a footballer called Janinho Paulista, he's a Brazilian footballer, he was playing in Sao Paulo Football Club, and he went over to the city of Middlesbrough. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know much about football. I don't follow football, I don't support a team. But this football player, he was a huge deal in Middlesbrough. Um, so he was really one of my first contacts with Brazil and Brazilian culture. So what I did, so I found this video of Janinho arriving in um, Middlesbrough. What I'm going to do now is share with you 1995 when Janinho Paulista arrived. Let's take a look at this. The team mascot is wearing a Mexican sombrero. A Mexican sombrero, I think. We didn't really understand that Brazil, Mexico. It, it's a little bit like me joining a football club here and being welcomed by the team mascot in Egyptian clothing. You know, Brazil and Mexico, they're not really that close together. I don't know whose idea it was for them to wear the Mexican sombrero, but let's continue. Jorginho, the Brazilian superstar. So there, the, the news reporter called him Jorginho. Um, I, the TV reporter, he had one job. One, <laughs> one job to do. Why? And like, okay, maybe it was a mistake. We don't really have people called Janinho in, um, in the northeast of England. And he keeps making it again and again and again. Jorginho, the Brazilian superstar. When Gigino finally arrived. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. But now you've brought in Eugenio. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. Next, let's move on to the press conference. And they've given him a translator. So at the time, I imagine when I was 12, I had no idea, I didn't speak a word of Portuguese. I'm going to put some subtitles on so that you guys can understand the the Portuguese if you're not Brazilian. Um, let's watch this. Can I ask one more question? Does he know how cold it gets in Middlesbrough in January? He doesn't think that uh, in England could be that uh, terrible, you know, different from any, uh, you know, it's not uh, Siberia. Janinho didn't mention Siberia. He did, basically, they've got this translator who didn't translate. He just, <laughs> he just, I'll just throw my opinion out there. 1995, I think the area I grew up in, we didn't really know a lot about Brazilian culture. Um, but it didn't seem to affect Janinho. So Janinho, he loved his time there. He seemed to really appreciate being in the city of Middlesbrough. He played really well. And he's considered one of the greatest people to have played for Middlesbrough Football Club. Um, so he was like a big influence for me in terms of Brazilian culture. I could see how excited he was, how passionate he was, how um, involved he got into the local community. Now when I say, oh, I'm from near Middlesbrough, a lot of people will say, ah, oh, oh yeah. So I, I have Janinho Paulista to thank for that. Um, so guys, this has been my different video today on my first real contact uh, with anything related to Brazil, the football player Juninho Paulista. If you like this video, if you want to see more, hit subscribe, give this video a like, and I will see you next week.